Good morning. Today we are with Margherita Maccapani Missoni, designer of M Missoni. Uh, we met her exactly one year ago at Polimoda at the wonderful guest lecture in our Aula Magna. So one year passed since then. So Margherita, my first question is, which was the happiest day of this year for M? I think the happiest day must have been our first presentation um, in September, in last September. It, a lot of uh, pressure and tension had built up because we already had sold two collections without showing them to anyone aside from buyers. Um, and um, so we were eagerly looking forward to finally presenting to the rest of the world uh, the work we've done. And um, it was a very ambitious presentation. It was in a streetcar and models would get on and off whilst um, journalists and, and buyers were on the whole tour. And, but it, turned, it went really well. Um, everything, uh, we didn't have too many issues uh, with uh, car crashes on the way and uh, um, traffic lights. So it was a great success. It communicated really well the mood of the new um, uh, M. Missoni and the coronavirus. How is your brand facing this really unexpected and difficult period? So I think um, it's definitely uh, a moment of resetting everything. We have been working most of the time, although remotely. Uh, the companies were closed, production had been halted. Um, but we tried to make it work from a distance. So we did things that I hope we won't have to do ever again, such as neatwear fittings on a mannequin without a person next to it um, to adjust the garment. But also we learned that a lot of our meetings can be done remotely, uh, such as all the press meetings and even some of the style meetings, if we all have our color cards in our hands and our fabric swatches, we can and we save a lot of time. Okay, uh, as you mentioned before, and Missoni was officially born in a sunny, crowded day of last September on a pink tram full of happy people, zigzagging through the past, defining a new present for a bright, colorful future. How do you see future now? Um, I, I am very positive about the future. I see a bright future ahead. And um, I think that um, although tough this period for many people personally, for many companies on a business level, it's, it's been really difficult. But I think that we've, um, we're resetting how, how I was saying, you know, we might have been going too far in some directions before this. And, um, it will help us um, reevaluate aspects of our lives. Um, for example, I think a lot of people are appreciating living outside cities. Um, a lot of people experienced it because they were maybe, you know, they have a country home and they were there during this period and now they're like, oh, this is really possible. Other people who had to spend the whole time in an apartment in a city, maybe with young children, are saying this is definitely not worth it. So traveling will change. There are definitely a lot of things that will change in a positive way. Okay. Uh, in this month, uh, you designed a very clear image uh, of your brand. Can you please describe for us uh, M DNA? M DNA. A DNA. A DNA. So um, M. Like as the name says, stands for 
a little piece of Missoni, never a copy, but a little piece that on, on which we elaborate, that we layer, that we twist upside down, inside out. Um, we never use the real piece the way it was meant to be used. We always, we make it relevant for today. Um, but what piece? We never end up, we never want to use what's iconic and really belongs to the Missoni iconic aesthetic because we don't want to steal market from Missoni. So we decided to take advantage of the huge archive and, and make good use of all the leftovers from the Missoni's history, whether it be um, the prints, uh, the flower prints that never became iconic or um, the stocks of yarns and fabrics, or the advertisings from 80s licensings that looked cheesy then a few years ago, but now look cool. Uh, Margarita, who are the people belonging to the M tribe? Um, the M tribe or M generation is definitely something that we're trying to build. Uh, we feel like uh, only talking about product and garment is very restrictive and not relevant today. Um, so we have values within the brand that we want to communicate because we think that people can associate themselves to us also through our values, not only through our aesthetic. It's a question of ethic on top of the aesthetic, which maybe a few years ago wasn't the case when we're looking at a brand's approach to marketing, etc. The M tribe is not determined by age or gender. It's very inclusive. It's determined by a sort of freedom, light approach to life, there is an irony about, you know, taking a distance from, from fashion, from everything that is, that is too stiff and serious. And um, looking at the bright side. So it's uh, light, fun and unpretentious. Very nice description. Uh, you started collaborating with an Ethiopian footwear company and then with Peruvian artisans. Uh, will you continue on this path? Absolutely, yes. Um, our sustainability, uh, sustainability is a, is, a, is a pillar of M, not only as ecological eco eco sustainability, but also as ethical sustainability. Um, because M, different than Missoni, is not fully produced in Italy, but it has always been produced in other places because of financial reasons, such as Romania, Portugal, China. I decided to dislocate some other parts of the production for ethical reasons, such as sneakers, produced uh, in collaboration with this brand called Sawa in Ethiopia, a brand that has been founded there in order to create jobs in that country and ha they have a higher uh, wages than the, than the average country wages, or for example, um, alpaca in Peru, or for example, woven bags in Ghana that we have already done. And we're definitely moving forward. I, I'm always searching for new artisans with whom have having a collaboration. Um, so we're speaking to embroiderers in Mexico. We're speaking to other weavers in Ecuador. Um, we and and every time we start a collaboration like that, it's not going to be a seasonal thing, a one-off actually something that recurs once a year in our collection because um, because we're doing it for an ethical reason I think it's important to make it if you do it one off it doesn't make any sense for them if you do it if they know it recurs once a, once a year they can count on it also it's quite challenging to develop a product at such a distance 
So once it is developed, it's really a shame to just let it go by one season, after one season. So how did the concept of sustainability evolve at M? And how does it affect your creative process? When I took over M, it was almost two years ago when I started working on the concept of the brand. And to me, it would have been utterly inconceivable to start, restart a brand without having sustainability at its core. It would be non in tune with the times we live in. And, and fashion is just about being in tune with the times we live in. So I strongly believe that soon what's non sustainable will be out of fashion. So it's not even going to be an ethical choice, but it's going to be a forced choice for many brands. I believe also that soon we will have rules and laws to go by about sustainability, just like the car industry has, for example. Um, but for the moment, it's up to us. And so it's always a, a test. You know, you try one way and then maybe you're like, I could have done better and you do something else. So we set rules for ourselves. Everything, every move we make in each direction, whether it's production, whether it's an event creation, we always ask ourselves, is there a way we could do this more sustainably? What's the impact of this? Um, and uh, it's one of the first questions we literally ask every time we develop a garment is like, can we use upcycled yarns in any of this? Um, or after we've developed some um, upcycled stitches in knitwear, um, we see they can be recurring. So for example, we started doing stripes with uh, solid upcycled yarns from Missoni. Uh, now with each season, we do a stitch of stripes, always different, but always done with upcycled Missoni stripes. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, you only live more is your motto. Yeah. Please tell us something about it. We are very curious about it. Yeah, you only live more. It uh, talks about sustainability. It's the concept of, you know, I, I've always, in my personality as well, in my personal creativity, I love working with things that I find rather than um, buying something new and having a whole set of new uh, pencils in front of me. I prefer sketching with like the three pencils that I find there and it's only those three colors and I have to make them work and that's just my personal approach but it's also M's approach is like do not do not throw away everything after one use you know give it a new life and make it live longer whether it's our fabrics whether it's physical things like yarns whether it's concepts or ideas why throw away an idea um, that might be really relevant if you twist it and uh, concepts? Um, so it's a, it's a physical, but it's also a, a conceptual idea. We use uh, remix, respect. Uh, what else? Return. In your brand, are you more Margherita or more Missoni? Um, uh, this is definitely about Missoni. It's an extension of Missoni, and um, this is absolutely about Missoni. Uh, that said, a lot of who I am is Missoni. My aesthetic is very Missoni, so it's difficult to untangle. Of course, I understand. Uh, for M, no seasons anymore. No for winter, no spring, summer, but months characterize your collections. Explain us your revolution. This is something that I'm still trying to work out because we, it's something that I tried to do at the beginning, but it didn't go through with the, the whole commercial side of the business. 
but now after COVID, we're absolutely rethinking. And uh, that's what I was talking about before, saying that a lot of, I see the future in a positive way, a lot of necessary changes will happen. Um, I believe, I mean, we sell everywhere in the world. Summer is always somewhere, somewhere. Um, heavy, heavy weights are the less and less uh, needed and requested. Um, and I strongly believe in uh, buy now, wear now. I don't think people really want to buy, um, you know, coats in May when they're looking ahead to a summer of fun. Um, so I believe, in my personal opinion, I see two collections a year. I think buying for times is time consuming for everyone. With multiple drops, that's, that would be my idea. With multiple drops that deliver depending on occasions throughout the season. Uh -huh. I think, I mean, it's, it's easier and it's more logical, of course. And uh, no barriers of age, gender, shape, and whatsoever. We are going to live in a world full of barriers in the immediate future. How will M live in it? Mm -hmm. um, the, the, at least we will have no gender, no age. Because if on top of the barriers that we will have to live with, we would also have straight, strict ethical uh, barriers or gender or uh, age barriers, we would not be able to live. Your midterm and long-term plans for future? For the brand? Yeah, for the brand. Um, so my midterm, um, is, um, um, well, we have a shop opening, uh, this month in May, which in Brazil, which, um, is, uh, the shortest term program and it's very exciting because the whole, the, the new store concept has been developed um, following the M principles and I'm lo really looking forward to see that. Uh, longer term is really how are we going to sell? Who are we designing for? Um, how is the collection is going to be built is what we're talking about for everything is changing so we're brainstorming a lot to understand how to move forward and the last question is m m stays for margarita for missoni for magic for a lot of nice words starting with m what about you which which other m M uh, is my, it's a, re a recurring theme in my life. You know, my, my name is Margherita Macavani Missoni. And M Missoni is, happens to be my name on top of the brand. So it was a destiny uh, there. And we, within our communication, we always use words that start with M. So as you were saying, the for you only live more. Um, the M generation. Uh, magic is definitely my favorite, but uh, mother is another. Yeah. Mother is another one that I'm using, I mean, that I hear a lot. <laughs> um, and that I use a lot. Matriarch cut as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I like mother, <laughs> definitely. And magic, and magic as well. Okay, Margarita, so thank you so much for this thank wonderful you. interview. And really, really good luck for your beautiful and full of life brand. Thank Long you. life to them. And thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.
Bye.